Hi guys, it's Mike here. Today I wanted to show you my take on half tone printing and do it yourself. This is um, the result or some of it. Hey. And um, last week you may remember I did the uh, 15 in 15, 10 in 15, I don't know, remember, with that uh, beautiful Concord and 9 stamp. So I was. Um, well, thinking maybe you don't have that stamp set and or you don't want to buy it or you can't buy it or you whatever the reason is and um, I thought maybe with a die in and I used a butterfly stamp and some background stamps I have and this was my initial idea because it has the dots like half tone printing has and these are other ones that I will come back to later but yeah this half tone dotted thing from studio light that didn't work as good as I thought it would <coughs> and I don't have many uh, background stamps so <laughs> it's fiddling a bit this is a water stamp um, bar stroke stamp by Mariana design but yeah go through your stash and see what you have this one on the block is from Techniques USA and these are also from Mariana design the same series I guess stars don't think that makes sense but maybe this wood pattern it's a bit small but yeah um, more kind of patterny stuff and um, I also found these this is also the technique Tuesday where the other one came from and I found these Quetzalcraft clouds that I thought that has already some shading in it just not a very big area that would cover my entire butterfly so instead of a butterfly in the video I thought I would use a uh, die cut of uh, the feathers from Sam's stamp but I was a bit too small <laughs> to, to get the um, idea to show or what I had in mind and so I'll um, yeah I'm just using memento ink and I'm stamping it repeatedly I made my own mask there with some post-it tape because I was running low on Inca Dinka do masking stuff I only had two sheets left so <laughs> I thought I'll keep those for something else so um, and yeah I'm using blues but uh, any color I would do of course and I'm starting with this um, Katzelcraft cloud stamp and if you want to know what it's called I will look it up it is KTZ Katzelcraft, I guess 150 I think, it's a, there's a stripe running through it, I can't really read it, but that didn't really work very well, so <laughs> I'm going on with the brush strokes, but that's too solid in areas, so that just filled in the whole shape, which is not what we want, and maybe I should have used a lighter color for the second one, and you know, the, the cleverness about the half tone stamps from Concord 9 is of course you only have to stamp it once and um, but yeah you always get the same one and if you dig out your own stash and stamps that you already have and then maybe combine them I'm really liking <laughs> see I'm switching to the butterfly but I'm really liking the Hero um, Arts La Lettre that I'm introducing later to give it an extra dimension and depth and um, yeah you can use dots you could use uh, heart stamps if you have you know background stamp with hearts that uh, I think Sam's system has falling hearts stamp but yeah I, I, as I say I don't have many um, uh, background stamps you could use stencils as well I guess but uh, I was experimenting with this and I like the grungy stuff from um, Technique Tuesday and of course it doesn't look at all like you know <laughs> the reference <laughs> butterfly from Concord and Amber the exercise is not to recreate exactly the same but see if you can do something similar and then build on it and enhance or uh, the, see the letters really give it some cool vintagey look I really like it so um, yeah basically that's it uh, go and look in your stash and experiment and use different colors 
and um, I will turn on the music for the rest of the video and you can see how it all turns out. So thank you for watching. Bye. <laughs>